to spike camp. We're gonna be up here three days, and if we don't kill a bull in three days, we're gonna pack camp back out and reevaluate. But we obviously got on some great mature bulls last night. Herds of, <laughs> the one herd had 40 cows in it, the next herd had 50 plus. Altogether, there was about 100 elk in that canyon. So we're gonna hike in just right to the base of the canyon, move up a little bit, set up spike camp hunt there for the next three days and hopefully we'll kill something. Um, we're excited, but everything's locked up. Truck, see you in a little bit. Let's roll out, baby. We're keeping our eyes peeled because we're seeing a lot of elk sign down in this creek bed that we're walking up to camp. A lot of fresh tracks, fresh droppings. And I mean, they've got everything they need in here, so we're keeping an eye out. There might be a bull right in here. Guys, we got camp set up. <laughs> I've got my King's XKG two-person tent. And the Wes has got his Kuyu two-person tent, so. Got everything we need for uh, one person sleeping and all of our gear. So we're also camped right by this creek that comes down. They cleared out a spot right here. This is where we'll be getting all our water. We already filled up uh, a couple of jugs and threw iodine tabs in it, so we're ready to go. We heard a bugle on the walk-in, so we're gonna get up to our glassing point and see if we can't hear some more bugles down the canyon. Hopefully we can get on a bowl. This spot is sweet. I mean, check this out. Straight up camp life. So we've been sitting here glassing and uh, we kept just hearing a real faint bugle and then uh, all of a sudden it got way louder. So I threw a few bugles out, this bull responded and we're glassing this far hillside and we see an elk come out. I can't tell if it's a cow it's a bull. or a bull. Is it a bull? I just saw it. Okay. So we had a, another bull come out on this far hillside, I mean, far, far away, and he's moving down. So we're watching that bull and uh, through the binos and we hear the bugle rip off and it was not that bull. So there are two different bulls playing games right now. <laughs> so we're just sitting and listening, throwing out a few cow calls, a little bit of a bugle here and there, and trying to get a pin on uh, where this bull is at. And that way we can decide whether we need to make a move, move in closer, or just wait it out if that bull is moving into us. So, all right, guys, we are just packing things up, getting ready to head out. Wes is putting the last glass on the bulls. Um, light is starting to fade pretty quick, and we've also got quite a bit of smoke, unfortunately, from the wildfires. It's been going on all around the West, and. Uh, so we're losing visibility to glass pretty quick. Uh, but glassed up a couple of good bulls over on that ridge and uh, they had a bunch of cows with them too. So we're thinking that they were probably the same herds that we had down in this cut yesterday evening. Uh, they just moved over about another half mile. So uh, tomorrow morning our game plan is to get up on this high point right here 
with the spotter right at first light and we'll be able to glass that far ridge that those animals are on as well as being able to glass over the backside which we heard a couple bugles coming from there too so we've got a great game plan for tomorrow morning we're just going to start putting things away heading back to camp and uh, get some food probably going to hit the uh, peak refuel tonight so get things situated and what's up what do you guys say if you like this video <laughs> smash that subscribe button give this video a like if you want to get some merchandise the hat, go ahead and click the link in the description wait till then let's go baby <laughs> dude that was, that was pretty good that was pretty good oh, yeah. A little brown, but honestly not too bad. This bag already has a bit of hue in it, but I'll throw some iodine tablets in that. Should be good. I'll throw this water bottle up too. There you go. That's a better representation of, I mean, it's pretty dang clear water, honestly, yep. but uh, we know there's some elk wallows up ahead, upstream about quarter to half mile is when the water wallows start. So we came here and found where this little waterfall is. Anytime you're filling up water, it's always best to get it right off of a little waterfall and stuff. It's where it's gonna be the most pure. That's pretty dang clear. I wouldn't be too scared to drink it like that, but we're gonna throw iodine tablets in it anyway and uh, let it sit overnight and we'll have water for tomorrow. Got my sleeping pad. My air pillow blown up. Just gonna unroll my sleeping bag. This is my King's 20 degree bag. Um, should be perfect for this trip. Might get down to about 35, 37 at night. 20 degree bag is about perfect. Woke up, grabbed some coffee. Got the bow loaded on the pack. Wes is getting all situated. And uh, we're getting ready to make the hike. Gonna start right up this spine and work our way all the way to the top of the mountain. So it's gonna be a long hike. It's gonna suck, but once we get up there, we'll have a really good vantage point.
bull from this morning is right there. He's got cows all down that hillside. He's been up there bugling. We'll get the spotter on him. I don't know if that is the same bull because he didn't have anything with him. No, I think what he was doing, I think his cows were on this hillside and he was coming around to go up that saddle and round up any other cows that were on this top, bring them back out to the mountain and bring them out. So when he got out, when he got to the edge and saw his cows way out there, he probably just ran across that face to get to his cows. So I'll set up the spotter and we'll get some phone scope footage of this bull. Alright, we've been sitting here glassing and we glassed all of those elk uh, go up over that high ridge. Went right through that saddle where all those cedars and uh, pine trees are. But they were kind of slowing down so I think they're going to bed up there. And we actually had a cow come across this face like all the way across only three, four hundred yards from us and actually work into the group of trees that we're in. So I'm wondering if there's another bull up in here that she kind of got split off the herd and came over this way because we definitely heard two bulls this morning but uh so we're just going to post up literally right where we're at we're at a great vantage point to overlook this entire basin and uh there we just picked up in the glass two huge wallows right below us at 300 yards and that bull that worked that ridge up was all wallowed up he was like dark dark so he's been hitting these wallows and uh, we glassed these bulls on this face yesterday evening. So our play is to stay up here, start watching the bulls pour out of these canyons, come four or five o'clock and working down into these cuts and uh, make a stock on one. So I think we're in a really, really good spot. I'm excited for tonight, but uh, for now we're gonna post up and it's gonna be a long, long day sitting in the sun. <laughs> You hungry or what? <laughs> Yo, show us the goods. What you got? What you got? <laughs> I love how you just carry the whole bag up here. <laughs> it's cool. It's not like we're seven miles in or anything. <laughs> Chips, dude. They don't weigh that much. <laughs> it's all about portion control. Hey, Watching weight. Eating them today. All of them. Got some Cheez Its, peanut butter and jelly, and we got gummy bears and a Nature Valley protein bar. We're about that gourmet life. Nothing but the best. <laughs> Eating Nature Valley. Looking at Nature's Valley. Me up with the sponsorship. So we've given those elk plenty of time to show themselves on that face and they never came out so we're thinking that they probably dropped over to the next ridge and are not planning on coming out to this face tonight or at least during shooting hours so what we're doing is we're gonna drop down in this cut and there's a bunch of wallows down in that cut we're gonna still stalk our way back to camp with the light that we've got left. We've got probably solid 45 minutes of shooting light yet, so I'm just gonna stalk our way back to camp and hopefully get on a bull. Things tore up.
Yeah, he was in that thing last night, dude. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Yeah, whole time. Found another one. We couldn't even see this one. We were sitting way up there, glassing. We couldn't even see this wallow from there. It's a good one, too. This place just looks like a crime scene. Every single tree in here just shredded. Wallows everywhere. They're using this cut, no doubt. Well, I was just reviewing some footage and I think it's time <laughs> to clean off my face. I did not realize I had this much dirt crammed all over my face. <laughs> Get this thing cleaned off. Probably take a full shower with the old dude wipes backcountry living <laughs> all right well that's it for today we are uh, just getting tucked into the tents and going to bed we had really really long day today <laughs> posted up and uh, waited for those bulls to come out but they never did show and uh, didn't see any elk until we hiked back to camp and there was three cows right above our camp so no other bulls though so Headed to bed. See you guys in the morning. <laughs>